Today on Sci Guys, the simplest electric motor. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we'll be making the simplest electric motor. It's perpetual motion at its finest. Absolutely, except for the battery. Oh. Yeah. The simplest motor is an example of a homopolar motor, which is driven by opposing magnetic fields. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes some bare copper wire, we're using between 14 and 18 gauge wire, a small stack of rare earth magnets, a AA battery, and you may need some pliers to help shape the wire depending on the thickness you've chosen. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous in this episode, please be aware that the magnet and the wire will get a little bit hot. Also, keep in mind that the rare earth magnets tend to snap together, so it's a little bit of a pinch hazard. The first step in your experiment is to take a piece of copper wire and fold it down the middle. The bottom U point in our wire is going to be the point that touches the top of the battery. Now fold both sides of the wire down so that you have an M shape that will be placed on the top of the battery. Now you can fold your wires around in any way you want as long as the bottom tips of the wire come in light contact with the magnet. This is the final shape of our wire once we were done bending it. Once you have your copper wire bent into the desired shape, simply take your battery and attach the rare earth magnets to the positive end. Set it on the table, batteries side up, and attach your wire. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. There are three main components to our motor. The battery, which is the source of the electrical current and electrons that power the motor. The copper wire, which is the conductor that creates the closed circuit that the electrons travel through. And the magnet, which generates a magnetic field that helps create the Lorentz forces, which are ultimately responsible for the spinning of our motor. The poles of our magnet and its magnetic field are vertically aligned. When the copper wire closes the circuit by touching the top of our motor and the magnet at the bottom, the electrons begin to flow out of the battery into the magnet. The bottom of the wire is bent horizontally, and the brief horizontal path the electrons travel in the copper wire, just before entering the magnet, is perpendicular to the vertically aligned magnetic field of our magnet. When electrons travel perpendicular to a magnetic field, a force known as Lorentz force is generated. Lorentz force is a force exerted on a charged particle, like an electron, when it moves through a magnetic field. Lorentz forces are strongest when the magnetic field and moving electrons are perpendicular, like in our motor, and weakest when they run parallel. The Lorentz forces generated by our moving electrons are strong enough and angled just right to push the copper wire, causing it to spin. As long as the electrons continue to flow through the magnetic field of our magnet, the Lorentz force will provide a constant push that keeps the wire spinning. This type of motor is known as a homopolar motor, or a DC motor, because its electrical polarity is constant as it functions. That's it for the simplest electric motor. Thanks for watching, and join us when we continue this series with the simplest electric train. If you liked this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below, message us on Facebook, and we'll try to help you as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Non-perpetual motion at work. Non-perpetual. Very good. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.